Hello and welcome back to another one, and today we have a couple of topics to cover from Lil Wayne's recent comments about Eminem to a summary of the latest from 50 Cent and French Montana. If you recall, this goes back to 2019 and I've covered some of the drama on this channel. In fact, 50 Cent started the year blasting French Montana, which goes back to what Eminem said about 50 in his Walk of Fame ceremony speech, 50 is relentless. So before we dive in, remember to check out my previous video if you missed it on Busy Bones' comments about Eminem's new album and also former Westlife members tweet this in Eminem that didn't end well for him. So check that out if you missed it. So we'll start with Lil Wayne and in the wake of the release of his latest album Funeral, Lil Wayne went on Drink Champs in a two-hour segment where he talked about a couple of things. At first, when it came to the topics of Eminem, the interviewer asked some odd questions and I'm glad someone there also pointed it out. Check this out. Eminem or MGK? Uh, MGK, I gotta say Eminem because I don't know too much MGK. It's the only reason though. Okay, okay. Eminem or g -Eazy. Again, don't know too much Come on, man. What kind of question is that? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. 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 I'm so as you heard, Lil Wayne was asked questions like Eminem or MGK and Eminem or g Easy, clearly because those are white rappers and Lil Wayne doesn't even know enough about those guys and now if you wondered what Lil Wayne thought about his collaborations with Eminem, wonder no more and here are his comments about if he got bodied by Eminem on any of their collabs so far. You know, also I did a bunch of joints with M, man. That's my mm. man. You already Yo, know. You know it's very interesting. M had you with that Jay Z moment. Yo, let me that just Jay lied something. about that. He talking about he had to go talk to himself and all that. Look himself in the mirror. But <laughs> that <laughs> moment, M had you like that. You're probably the only person that did a record with M that they said that M didn't body. How do you feel about that? Because um, everyone that M get on a record with, they say he body. No, I have never heard them say that about you. I can humbly yes. say I expected that because when you get on a drink, that's like that's like a championship game yeah, that's your, and you win it and they ask you you know they ask yeah. you you know how do you feel did you feel you were, yeah i came in with my game plan and i right. expected my game plan to work Ooh. yeah so Ooh. m is you know when you send a song to m i try attacked it like that like nah you're not mm -hmm. you're just not right. you're not gonna do me this you know, you know you're not gonna do me this and so i'm gonna put it all out there either we gonna be right here with it right. and just right. make a beautiful wonderful great song right. but you ain't gonna do me that and so that's what we did right. yeah we just made a wonderful great song i ain't hit Nobody ever say nobody body each other, no like that. I just made sure that he no, ain't body me. No, yeah. I didn't that boy is a monster. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Do you agree that Lil Wayne held his own on all the collaborations with Eminem so far, or do you think otherwise? Forever was an easy win for Eminem in my opinion, but what do you guys think of the tracks? Forever, Drop the World, and No Love. For me, Eminem takes all three, but Lil Wayne held on well compared to others Eminem bodied on collaborations. It was more obvious on Forever and Drop the World for me, but I hand it over to you guys, what do you guys think? And remember, you don't have to put down a particular rapper to stress the victory of another rapper. That's something people struggle with these days on social media. It's either amazing or it's trash, no in between, which is not how the world works in reality. So off to the next section of the video and if you are yet to hit the like button if you are enjoying this, what are you waiting for? If you are new here, also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss an upload. So 50 vs French Montana has been going on for a while now and the latest is that recently 50 Cent punched French Montana in the club. Some even claim that French got knocked out and here's French responding to the whole thing. <laughs> Don't do that. You're too old for that. Dinosaur. You just got your star in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I heard you paid for your star. <laughs> uh, tell people the real story. I went to the club you was hosting. You heard I was coming, you walked out the back. You was in the car. Touch me. Look. Nobody touched me. Handsome Nobody at gmail.com. I wish you would touch me. You run to the blogs the next day. I wasn't even gonna say nothing about it. That's I went tell people I went to your club where you was hosting. I went going through the back. 
And if you look at there's a video servicing around, your people's had the police call right there, and they went spoke to the police after. So let's verify that video too. As you can see, French also claims that 50 Cent paid for his Hollywood Walk of Fame star, but not everyone is buying this video because many believe French Montana is wearing makeup in this video to cover his black eye from 50's fist connecting with his face. But I'll leave it to you guys on this one. From where I'm sitting, his right eye looks swollen if you ask me, but maybe I'm just reaching here. What do you guys think? Tell us below and also drop comments on Lil Wayne's claims that he was up to par with Eminem and didn't let Eminem body him on the songs. He believes it was an equal performance, but do you agree? Like and subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.